but that seems to be the nature of 2K. They leave us dazed and confused and then maybe 70% of the community just go out and make a new build. And that's how they get their microtransactions filled. Hey, what's up, y'all? You already know I'm All City with All City Live TV.com. And thank you for tuning in. Hey, listen, I know a lot of you guys out there want to take a knee. You kind of want to sit this 2K out. It's just so far from what we know basketball to be. So far from what we know any other previous version of 2K to be. Is discouraging. It is what it is. It's a roller coaster of emotions. One day you're enjoying yourself. One game you're enjoying yourself. And then the very next game or the very next day, you're just frustrated and overwhelmed for what 2K has given us in next gen consoles. I know a lot of us are discouraged out there because we kind of sacrificed, you know, our expectations over the last two versions of 2K, being that we knew that they were going to be working on 2K for next gen we thought they were gonna blow our minds away and give us one of the best two k's in history but unfortunately the sad reality is that that's not the case and so far from it and it seems like they're just one step away from being great but that one step and the refusal to take that one step is really kind of putting the community down putting the players down we're just like we don't know what we got in front of us 2k you're so close you are so close but yet so far do you guys pick up a basketball do you understand basketball fundamentals Listen, man, it takes it just takes a little bit of effort on your part to kind of turn this game from a zero to a hero, to turn this game from being like one of the worst 2Ks to one of the best 2Ks of all time. But we need to hear from you. Mike Wang, what are you doing? Ronnie 2K, what are you doing? Where are the developers at? Go and check out their Twitters. They haven't dropped like any type of tweets in reference to game development in the longest time and they just pull a disappearing app. But for the players that are still out there, if you're still out there and you wanna continue playing the game, I am gonna be talking about the Handles for Days badge right now because one of the things that I've noticed in this particular 2K is that, and, it, and it's like this for previous versions of 2K as well, but one of the things that I noticed is that a lot of the animations are tied into badges. We know this to be true. We know a lot of animations are tied into badges, but a lot of animations are tied into your stamina as well. And this is what I want to talk about in today's video because I dropped handles for days down to silver uh, maybe about two days ago I dropped it down to silver and I noticed that I was getting a lot less contact dunk animations in a game that's so contact dunk heavy listen 2k said they weren't going to be involved right that was one of the things that they kind of really put out there in their course side report the player is supposed to have full control of their player movements and it's going to feel more responsive and 2k and they admitted to getting involved and they were going to give us less canned animations and I gotta tell you from my experience playing 2K, I don't know what you guys are experiencing out there. Please let me know in the comment section below. But I've noticed that, man, 2K21 on Next Gen has the absolute most canned animations hands down. It seems like everything is a canned animation. You could be dribbling and that dribble body up animation will lead you from three point line all the way into the paint. And we're not even talking about contact dunks. I'm talking about when somebody reaches and and you get put into this animation where it's a body up kind of clamp contact type of animation and it just forces you to continue moving forward even though you have no hands on the controller so i these canned animations are absolutely ridiculous all the way to the contact dunk animations are absolutely silly and ridiculous i know you guys are experiencing that as well but it is what it is handles for days allows you to maintain a certain amount of stamina while you're comboing these dribble moves together right we know this to be the case with handles for days a player takes less of an energy hit when performing consecutive dribble moves allowing them to chain together combos quicker and for longer periods of time now why is this important to your finishing and to your shooting 
why could handles for days be important to your finishing and shooting because in 2k21 on next gen more than ever the animations that are tied into your stamina they determine whether or not you're gonna shoot really well whether or not you're gonna drive really well if you have more stamina after comboing those dribble moves together and you drive into the paint after a speed boost you're more than likely going to be put into a contact dunk animation that the defense cannot do anything about even if they're in the paint even if they're chasing you down the defense is so suspect in 2k21 they can't do anything about it so your only responsibility out there after putting these badges up and together your only responsibility is maintaining your stamina when you make your move that's not to say you don't need badges like fearless finisher posterizer and slithery but with these badges if you have if you're blinking red even with these badges you're less likely to get put into that contact dunk animation the odds are still heavily in your favor because 2k21 on next gen is so heavily contact dunk oriented but to increase those odds handles for days will definitely help you out i put it at hall of fame i'm putting it back on hall of fame and we're gonna test out this this theory again in today's live stream if you guys would like to see that test come on out in today's live stream we live stream every day anyway so if you're catching this at a later date come join us on the live stream and see what we're testing on that day but today we're going to be testing handles for days on hall of fame again because i was getting contact dunk animations consistently until i dropped it down to silver and i noticed i was getting these weak layup animations which i was had me scratching my head i thought it was just a bad 2k day it, it was a bad 2k day because puma mania was it was great the first two days and then the last i don't know it was just a little just a little bit too much goofiness going on out there i don't know it, a lot of people were coming onto the stream saying their jump shot was broken they don't know what's going on with jump shots today they don't know what's going on with the game today but that seems to be the nature of 2k they leave us dazed and confused and then maybe 70 percent of the community just go out and make a new build and that's how they get their microtransactions filled and it, it just is what it is who knows and these are just allegations but you guys let me know if you're experiencing that as well if you guys found this video helpful and or informative please consider dropping a like remember the animations are tied into badges stamina and attributes get a good amount of attributes maintain your stamina put on the right badges you'll be playing a lot better on 2k21 for next gen if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing as we're gonna have a ton of next gen content coming your way i'll catch you guys on the next video easy y'all